So I have a black and white picture here of some cans and I'm going to get you to have a go at doing them afterwards. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about looking and how, what I mean by looking. If you watch any of my drawing videos, you're going to see that there are points when I stop what I'm drawing. And in those points, I'm just looking because I'm trying to work something out. So for example, I might start here with this distance and use that as a, as a measure. And I won't have the option of overdrawing something that's in the real world, um, and I wouldn't be doing that, but it's just to show you what I mean. So I would look at this distance here and then try and work out what it, what it how I can use it. So for example, I can say to myself, okay, if I turn that measurement round, then the side is about one and a third times that that width. But you, you're, you're starting to refer bits of what you're looking at to other bits of what you're looking at. And you don't look at this thinking, well, this is a can, I know, I know the proportions. You might, obviously, you know it's a can, but you have to get its proportions from what you can actually see. So, for example, when drawing this, this ellipse at the top, I have to think about what this width is compared to the, the, the length of it, and that will help me form the ellipse. So if I was guessing, I would say that this distance is perhaps a little bit under twice the width. So we can test that out now. And so on this layer, I can draw in, and I would only be able to do this by eye when I'm actually drawing, but what I mean is I would look at this and I would try and guess how many times it goes into this width. And you can see that that's one, two, two and a half. So I'd have been slightly out. Well, I was, I was about right actually, because I said it was a little bit over two times. So I'm just doing that by eye and that will help me um, when it comes to drawing that top bit. I've got an idea that the side is going to be, you know, one and a bit times that width. And I can keep using those references. And the other thing I'm doing is when it comes to, um, so say, say I draw my can, you know, I'm not, I'm not being too careful here. So I've got my can and now I've, I've got to sort of work out where the other one is in relationship to it. So immediately I can see that it starts here. It starts, and I just do that by looking. It starts at a point just below where this ellipse reaches its widest point. So this can starts there. And again, if I come down to where it where it emerges from behind the other can, it's about that distance. I'm just using that as a reference. So I can say, okay, it starts about there, and so I can draw it coming out. And the angles are just as important. You can spend a little while just looking at the angles to work, work out what they are. So you just, you just let your eye follow this angle and try and work out how you replicate that because that will tell you how to make the relationship between these two objects. So um, if we uh, move on to these ellipses, what one thing that makes this slightly different is that this is, it, this one is nice and easy because it's going to be essentially mirrored top and bottom across across that middle line because of the way we're looking at it. This one is not, um, it's not, if you draw a line across there, it's not symmetrical across one axis. It, it's skewed because it's twisted away from us. So we have to be, have a think about it. You, you can, by looking, you'll be able to see that, for example, there's a line that goes kind of like that, that might be a better division. And those two halves then start to match each other a bit better. And that's because this angle 
skews the ellipse away from us. So again, all I'm talking about when I say this is I'm talking about spending a moment with your eye just addressing all of these things. You're looking at the angle, then you're looking at your page and trying to replicate what that angle might be. You're looking at the relationships of different widths to each other. This line will be essentially mirrored by this one. Um, things change with perspective and foreshortening, but only in a way that's observable. Uh, there are various tricks you can learn with perspective, and um, um, I'll cover them at some point. But essentially, if you look, you'll you'll discover what you need to see.